Assalamu alaikum my name is Ali Jibran and today I am going to present the topic insecticidal effect of five essential oils against tomato aphid mysis persica and laboratory so coming straight to the abstract uh, aphid is uh, actually a, a, a phloem feeding insect pest that belongs to family aphididae and uh, order homoptera it significantly affects the tomato production each year uh, the use of chemical pesticides against this pest have been the common practice among the farmers uh, but the problem is that these pests have developed resistance over the years so the uh, the uh, concern of the scientists and the common public is towards the best alternatives of the chemical pesticides which are actually botanical pesticides and especially essential oils so recent studies have also shown that some of these essential oils may have lethal or sub lethal effects on different life stages of aphids in this experiment, we have used five different essential oils, including neem, eucalyptus, citronella java, clove, and garlic. And we use these oils to evaluate their insecticidal activity against the adults of aphid uh, species Mysis persica. So, in the uh, contact biopsy, uh, we uh, sh we saw the uh, that Alim Satimum garlic oil had highest mortality of 69% and highest concentration of 2% after 72 hours uh, while in uh, eucalyptus globulus eucalyptus oil and in uh, citronella java oil we uh, observed that um, lowest mortality of 14.48 uh, percent was uh, observed at the lowest concentration of 0 0.5 percent after 72 hours uh, coming to the replancy test in replancy test we uh, observed that uh, garlic oil had the highest replancy of 81 percent at highest concentration of 0.5 percent while the neem oil exhibited the lowest replancy of 12.22 percent at lowest concentration of 0.125 percent we also um, measured the lethal concentration of uh, in the, in these oils so the lethal concentrations uh, we measured uh, showed that the uh, Allium satimum garlic oil had the highest lethality of 1.132% and uh, citronella java oil exhibited the lowest lethality of 2.494% after uh, 24 hours. So uh, moreover the statistical programs we used were statistics 8.1 and mini dev 21 uh, which was used for statistical analysis. Uh, moreover um, there are phytotoxic effects of these essential oils, but they are still considered feasible against the aphid population and IPM programs. Now coming to the introduction, uh, the green peach aphid uh, is a, a very economically significant pest. It causes severe uh, leaf culling by sucking sap from leaves and no shoots. It also introduces the viruses of most plants. Among other species, uh, green peach aphid, Mysis persica, is a very significant economically and acts as a vector and transmit uh, potato virus Y and tomato yellow top virus and tomato yellow bottom virus in tomato crop. These insect pests have small life cycle but they possess the ability to acquire uh, chemical resistance against chemical pesticides. As we all know that the, these pesticides are widely being used in the world as I discussed before. In the, these recent years, the scientists and the common public uh, are more concerned about the environmental issues. So uh, they are uh, discovering the new best alternatives. And uh, as I uh, discussed before, the botanical pesticides are considered the best alternatives, um, especially the essential oils. And these essential oils have uh, low mammalian toxicity, have uh, uh, oviposition deterrence, have repellent and meticidal properties against these insect pests. Now coming to the methodology, uh, the, uh, this experiment was conducted in Agrological Research Laboratory Department of Entomology, University of Agriculture, Faisalabad. Three different treatments of essential oil, 2%, uh, 0.5%, uh, and 2%, uh, 1%, and 0.5% were used uh, in contact biopsy. A serial dilution of essential oils were prepared and acetone was used as a solvent. Leaf disc method was employed for contact toxicity bioassay and uh, uh, contact toxicity bioassay and uh, the, the uh, fresh host leaves were collected and discs were cut out of 2.5 cm diameter and then uh, the concentrations were applied after that the uh, efforts were released onto the leaf discs and the data was collected after 24, 48 and 72 hours. 
after that the corrected percentage mortality was um, was calculated by using henderson dilton formula after that the repellency potential was tested using area preference method which was introduced by mcdonald in the in his paper in the 1970 repellency data was recorded after 2 hours and then and the percentage repellency was uh, measured using the proper formula which is uh, control minus treatment divided by control multiplied by 100 and after that the probis, probit analysis was also done to calculate the lethal concentration and the, their confidence intervals now coming to the results uh, there are uh, two graphs and one table which represents the data uh, now let me zoom it uh, in this experiment data was uh, subjected to one way in order to evaluate the parameter of significance and mean values of different treatment using alpha 5% calculated mean of different treatments were actually compared using Fisher's LSD as you can see in this graph uh, results uh, revealed that all these essential oils proved themselves effective against uh, effort population as concentration increased the mortality also increased the highest mortality rates were observed in allium sativum garlic oil and at highest concentration of 2% followed by as a director indica neem oil 56% sizigium aromaticum which is actually clove leaf oil 43.45% uh, mortality eucalyptus oil showed 41.9% mortality and lowest mortality was recorded in Fritonella java oil which is 37.89% at 2% concentration after the time period of 72 hours. Now coming to the repellency potential of uh, essential oil against Mises persica. Uh, the repellency increased with the concentration as we uh, saw in the mortality uh, part. The repellency increased um, with the concentration and the lowest repellency was achieved at 0.125% of neem oil 12.2 percent while highest repellency was achieved with highest concentration of 0.5 percent from allium sativum which was 80.55 percent now coming to the uh, the lethal concentration which was measured using probit analysis the essential oils we used um, uh, showed the lethality in a trend uh, allium sativum had the highest lethality while the citronella java simbobogon mentarianus showed the lowest lethality uh, uh, at different time interval uh, lc50 was calculated by employing probit analysis after 72 hours highest lethality was observed in one uh, observed in uh, allium sativum which was 1.132 percent with upper and lower physiodial limit of 1.611 and 0.790 and the chi square x square uh, represent the chi square value which is 5.609 and the significant p value was 0 0.00 which was highly significant and then coming to the uh, least uh, lethality which was observed after 24 hours in uh, the citronella java oil simbopogon winterianus which was 3.113 with upper physiodial limit of 10.869 and lower physiodial limit of uh, 2.347 the chi-square value we observed in this was 0 0.481 and significant uh, p-value was 0 .00, uh, 0 0.019 as you can see in this table. Uh, the physiological limit uh, represents the highest and the lowest limit uh, that the uh, the value of the lethality will not and safety will not increase from the upper limit and will not decrease from the lower limit for the common knowledge. Uh, then we come to the conclusion. Um, uh, all essential oils perform significantly against these effort populations at different concentrations. The highest mortality and highest repellency was observed in case of garlic oil. Uh, clove leaf also showed significant mortality and repellency. Neem oil showed highest mortality with, uh, without any doubt but, the, but it was least effective uh, uh, repellent. Certainly java oil exhibited a lowest mortality but proved to be a good repellent uh, against this uh, effort population of minus persica. Eucalyptus oil was least uh, effective as compared to other essential oils uh, but it can be used uh, in the IPM programs. Uh, as concluding remarks, um, uh, further studies need to be done for the evaluation of insecticide potential of essential oil from other plants which can prove viable in the control of these harmful pests. 
and finally many thanks to my supervisor and my colleagues from the uh, Sulwak University of Agriculture in Nitra Sulwakia, Dr. Ali Dishan and um, Ms. Aksabas. And finally, many thanks to uh, Applied Zoological Society of Pakistan for pro providing me this opportunity and platform to present my research work in this esteemed international conference. Thank